Wilson and you're in the vault. We're here at the Regency Ballroom in San Francisco, opening night of the Testament and Exodus show, the Dark Roots of Thrash 2. Um, we're wearing sunglasses because the light is really bright in here and we're totally cool. Right? Is that what we're doing? We're just super cool. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cool. You don't think I'm cool? We, we, yeah. we know you're cool. All right. Well, that's why that. we have to wear these to keep be in the presence. Of oh, people. what a charmer. I'm glad you sat next to me. All right, I should introduce you guys, right? Alex, Gary, and Steve. But you guys all know Steve. He's a friend of the show. So, congratulations. A lot of really great things going on. Exodus celebrating like 30 years. Testament is just going crazy. How are you guys feeling about coming back first night of the show, first night of the tour, I beg your pardon, here in your hometown? How does that feel for you? Well, it's a hell of a way to kick things off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's chaotic, hometown, you know. You get yeah. Pulled in a thousand directions, but you know, it'll be over soon. Yeah. Well, you know, we also, we don't really have to worry about first impressions here. Right. Like a lot of other places, guys. I think we'll know at least 50% of the crowd. There you go, that's cool. What about you, Steve? How do you feel about hometown crowd? I hate it. <laughs> Just be honest about it. I hate it. Everybody calls and rings my phone. People like I haven't talked to in like five years. Right. You know? What do you think they want, of course? So I love to when I play it, I love the hour that I'm up there. Hate the rest of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gary. Nobody asks me for anything anymore. <laughs> they know better. I, I get zero requests. And That's I, it's smart. awesome. But, uh, you know, it's home. You know, it's like. It's always hard for me to leave. It's hard for me to get out of here. It's hard for me to leave the house. But you know, playing San Francisco, where it all started, you know, so it's awesome. Yeah, you also you don't get judged as much here. Like right. Everybody here, they've seen us at our worst. Right. They've seen us at our best. They you, know us. We don't. You know. So it's it, it has a looseness to it, I think, which is good. I think it's really beautiful how long. Please forgive us with the sound. They are doing sound check here. But I think it's really beautiful how long you gentlemen have been together and the relationship that you have because you've been together longer than most people have been married, on and off, but you've always been together, right? You, 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 there's a tie between all of you. Yeah, As I, I mean, was doing my research. I mean, it's interesting, yeah, because you, you can add up collectively all these years, decades. Things. Yes, but decades. Look at us individually. You know, I was out of my band for a while. Right. Doing other stuff. I came back, re-energized. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they, these guys, have, there's been some personnel changes. Sure. I think we're all in a good place right now. Right. Where it's very close to what's considered the classic lineups. And very cool. Everybody's in, feeling good and uh, excited about it. Well, I think it's important for artists to uh, make changes every now and then t in order to grow as an artist. Wouldn't Absolutely. you agree here, Gary? I'll just uh, pass I just that prefer to do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> uh, fuck it. You it's know, so um, easy. <laughs> I only know how to do one thing, play thrash metal, you know, other okay. than that, uh, I've got other things I could do, I can play thrash metal and a little bit of death metal, you know, so, okay. it's all I know how to do, so I do it, I've been doing it since I was barely 17 years old, you know, in this one band, so. Right, you grew up in the industry. Yeah. That's all you know. There at the beginning, so, you know. Yeah. I got, I got to see it and I got to cut the umbilical cord and mop up the afterbirth of Thrash, so it was cool. Like Steve and his sons now, he's passing it on to his boys, right? Yeah, I got my kids That's in and we've done Hatriot so many times, so, right. you know, with the show. So it's great. It's like brings me and Alex back. Alex was 15 when he was hired into Legacy. So I had to ask his father if he could join. Remember that dinner, Al? I was at Berkeley High. Right. <laughs> I would go to Exodus. Actually, my first... Uh, Metal show uh -huh. was uh, it was an Exodus show. Oh wow! I couldn't get in, but uh, Rick Hunold let me carry the amplifier. <laughs> nice. <laughs> me, me, Neat. My friend, yeah, we carried a, a cabinet. You know, they said okay, whatever. You know. uh -huh. That was kind of how it all started. Yeah, just like his sons, just growing up in it. Yeah. So, do you have children? Do you mind I, me asking? I have yet to have them that okay. I'm aware of, but. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not done. There, can I tell you something? I think I'm still fertile, so I there, think it can happen at some point. They're expensive. I've, I know that. <laughs> I've, uh, I've heard. They're expensive. I've so heard. what song, and I know that this is kind of a corny question, but uh, what song are you looking forward to performing this evening? Because you've got that new ESP guitar right. um, that you have. That's a beautiful ESP guitar. So what uh, what do you want to get out there and really show your well, fans, we're doing, your hometown fans here? Yeah, I mean, in our case, we're sort of we're 
at the end of a record cycle. Right. These guys are at the beginning of a record cycle. Yep. So we've toured for our most recent album. So instead, for this tour, we're going to go back to our first two albums. Right. The Legacy and The New Order. So it's exciting. There are some songs on there that we haven't played in years. The ones that come to mind are uh, Day of Reckoning off the second record, Do or Die off the first one. And uh, I think it's a, it's a real pleasure. You know, you talked about the, uh, the ESP guitar. Uh, that's one piece of gear that I think, you know, is just a big improvement. Um, and also just everything. The amplifiers sound better. Uh, we have better PA systems. So right. just hearing this classic music with such as much better equipment is, is fun. Well, your guitar is it's a beautiful guitar. It's a solid guitar. What I appreciate the most in the research that I've done on you is not only your resume and your background, is that you really took the time to look into ESP as a company. Yeah. So what was it about the company that really, you really said, you know what, this is where I'll go ahead and find my home? Yeah, well, I went through a period as a sort of classic guitar snob. Uh -huh. And I was only playing, you know, like vintage or, or reissue vintage instruments. Okay. Uh, but I wanted to do a, a signature guitar. Right. That was readily available, but it was that quality. Right. And <clears throat> so you did I, it. Yeah, and I talked to the ESP for a long time. It was like a year of sort of flirting. Mm -hmm. um, and and they you know they'll work with you on the instrument. You know, other, other guitar companies would send me guitars and just say, here you're gonna love this, and I, and I didn't love it. Right. Uh, but with these guys, they said, you know, tell us what you want, and um, and we're you know it's it's worked out great, and then it's been great to see Gary come aboard as well. Gary's on board now. I'm, Gary. An, old, I'm an old ESP guy though. I played ESP throughout the whole late '90s and. And uh, I just came back home, and it all started because I stole a guitar from Kirk at Comic Con. <laughs> they sent a bunch of loners, and be long before Kirk showed up, I went through the whole pile and I told him which one was mine. Oh, okay. And I said, "Take it, dude, take it." And Chris Canella showed up, and he said, "You can have it if you just wish ESP a 40th anniversary birthday." And I did did for the little video, and I took a seven thousand dollar guitar, <laughs> and it sits in my in my house right now, and. And then I started talking to Chris, and you know, and Kirk had long since been like telling me, "You got to come up back to ESP," you know, and, and so I did, and I've never been happier, you know. And they've taken really good care of me. I got, you know, the new guitar, the the high end one, weighs a ton, breaks my back, but it's just crushing, and the LTD's killer, and then the lower price one is like the perfect starter guitar, you know. It's like awesome. Right. Yeah. You know? Even the, the lower price ones are really good. Right. High quality. I like mine. Mm -hmm. but yeah. It's, it's really. Yeah, I've played his. His ESP branded and his LTD model, and you know, they're so close. You know, it's not, I mean, you know, obviously with the ESP model, there's like a level of refinement the other ones don't have. Like mine, right. you know, has a maple top under all that red swirl paint, you know, so it's brighter and a little punchier. But the LTD is crushing. In Japan, I played it more than the other one because my back was shot. Right. And that thing weighs half <laughs> as much as the other one. You know? Well, what I appreciate about all both you gentlemen's guitars is that a young kid coming in wanting to play or a collector maybe someone closer to our age know they're getting not only quality guitars because of ESP but they're getting guitars from amazing guitar players that say I'm willing to put my name on this this exactly. is my we signature it, yeah. yeah so yeah. you're winning with ESP good and did anybody good for you. old enough to remember this underwear commercial for Hanes there was the lady that <laughs> say, yeah, they don't say Hanes oh so yes I say they say Hanes right yeah that's pretty much it we're the Hanes <laughs> <laughs> you don't say ESP until we say that. That's ESP. right. I on my, on my model, I said, I want red and black triple ply, ply binding. And they said, I've never even seen it. I don't know if anybody makes it. I got it. I don't know where they got it. I don't know how they did it. Yeah. Awesome. So what song are you uh, looking forward to like showing off your guitar to this evening? The last one. Yeah? Then I'm done. Then you're done. <laughs> All of them. It's going to be awesome. Very cool. Now, Blood In, Blood Out. Amazing. I was just telling uh, Bug, we, I brought my daughter with me for this. <laughs> hey, daughter. Hey, Bug. Uh, we're not, we're going to have to miss the show tonight only because we got to go home and edit. You know me, I want to get it done. I want it out there. Oh, come on. But I know, she but I, I, well. She doesn't want to go. She doesn't. Yeah, I can go. Yeah. <laughs> they want to stay. Edit. We got to edit. We got to edit. But you're... Your presence on stage is so commanding that it's just amazing. I've, I saw you perform in Reno, 
and I swear to God, I thought you were, I was at Madison Square Garden. The that's way the you mentality. just took the old... <laughs> I think that's the mentality. I'm yeah. 10 or 10,000 with Patriots, usually 10, you know, so I have to just give it the full show that I can, so even with Exodus or whatever band, mm -hmm. I, I try to give it the best. Thank you. Yeah, well, you're very welcome, and I want you to know that I absolutely adore you. Awesome. You're Thanks, just Shonda. a great guy. Hashtag cool parents. Right? <laughs> I'm going to let these gentlemen go. I thank you all for your thank time. You. Thank you. They've oh, got absolutely. a meet and greet. Thank you, so thank you very much. Easy. Thank you very much. Uh, one more question. Yes. What are you wearing? <laughs> what am I wearing? <laughs> That's H&M. <laughs> <H &M. laughs> I did this to him on the red carpet at Randy Rose. He did the same thing as the stupidest question. But yeah. I appreciate you being at a this point. At this point, I need an endorsement <laughs> by H&M. You do need an endorsement at H&M. By the way, you guys all look great. That's one thing that I get so many. My, my show is geared towards females my age. And they're usually professional females. And they all just go, ooh, all these metal guys. Because you guys all look so Thank cool. You. It's all in the your chemicals on the preserve. We're I dangerous. <laughs> Yes. I'm wearing Evoque, made in Milan out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Okay. They need to oh, send yeah, you some more. Like guys who, oh. who give me like really ridiculous yeah. stuff. Oh, me too. This is, these are Moscot. Okay, and what about you? There. I'm wearing his Oakley's. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing Eric's Oakley's. All right, I'm these wearing Jimmy's. orange cream singles, I call them. Yes. Well, they look great. Yeah, my jacket's cheap. It's H&M. Mm -hmm. but, but it's cool. It look, right? You guys but all look good. My camel pants are made by Calvin Klein. Oh, yeah. hey. So lame. No! I didn't know they were. I bought, found them at Ross and my wife was Calvin <laughs> Klein. I'm like, oh God. Yeah. Calvin Klein's making camo. You guys all look great. That's the thing Thank about you. metal guys. They all, and you're right, dangerous. Yeah, that's yeah. sexy. That's sexy. That's what the women like. Gotta sell that merch, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you can't buy any of this over there. You can buy this though, actually. Okay. Yeah. Exodus sweatband. Oh. All right, I'm gonna have to pick one of those up. On the way out. No, not yet. We don't have that. Not yet. Oh. We have the now we have these. We have the purple and silver ones coming. So. But what people can purchase are those are ESP these guitars. Orange ones. Those orange ones are ESP guitars. How's that? That works. That works. That works. Get, get the guitars. All right. That's it. I gotta get them to the meet and greet. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. Thank for you. All right. You're welcome, Dave. See you later. See you guys. Bye.